Moreover, when ye shall divide by lot the land for inheritance, ye shall offer an oblation to, unto the Lord. A holy portion of the land, the length shall be the length of five and twenty thousand reeds, and the bread shall be ten thousand. It shall be holy, and all the borders thereof round about. Of this there shall be for the sanctuary five hundred in length, with five hundred in breadth, square round about, and fifty cubits round about, for the suburbs thereof. And of this measure shalt thou measure the length of five and twenty thousand, and the breadth of ten thousand, and in it shall be the sanctuary and the most holy place. The holy portion of the land shall be for the priests, the ministers of the sanctuary, which shall come near to minister unto the Lord. And it shall be a place for their houses and holy place for the sanctuary. And the five and twenty thousand of length and the ten thousand of breadth shall also the Levites, the ministers of the house, have for themselves, for a possession for twenty chambers. And ye shall appoint the possession of the city, five thousand broad and five and twenty thousand long, over against the oblation of the holy portion. It shall be for the whole house of Israel. And the portion shall be for the prince, on the one side and on the other side of the oblation of the holy portion. And of the possession of the city, before the oblation of the holy portion, and before the possession of the city, from the west side, westward, and from the east side, eastward. And the length shall be over against one of the portions, from the west border unto the east border. And the land shall be his possession in Israel, and my princes shall no more oppress my people, and the rest of the land shall they give to the house of Israel, according to their tribes. Thus saith the Lord God, Let it suffice you, O princes of Israel. Remove violence and spoil, and execute judgment and justice. Take away your exactions from my people, saith the Lord God. You shall have just balances, and a just epa, and a just bath. The ephah and the bath shall be of one measure, and the bath may contain the tenth part of a homer, and the ephah the tenth part of a homer. The measure thereof shall be after the homer. And the shekel shall be twenty geras, twenty shekels, five and twenty shekels. Fifteen shekels shall be your manna. This is the oblation that ye shall Offer the sixth part of an epa of a homer of wheat. Ye shall give the sixth part of the epa of a homer of barley. Concerning the ordinances of oil, the bath of oil, ye shall offer the tenth part of a bath out of the cower, which is a homer of ten baths, for ten baths are a homer. And one lamb out of the flock, out of the two hundred, out of the fat pastors of Israel, for a meat offering and for a burnt offering, and for peace offerings, to make reconciliation for them, saith the Lord God. All the people of the land shall give this oblation for the prince in Israel. And it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings, and meat offerings, and drink offerings in the feasts, and in the new moons, and in the Sabbaths, and all solemnities of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offering, and the meat offering, and the burnt offering and the peace offering to make reconciliation for the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God in the first month in the first day of the month thou shalt take a young bullock without blemish and cleanse the sanctuary and the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering and put it upon the post of the house and upon the four corners of the saddle of the altar and upon the post of the gate of the inner court so thou shalt do the seventh day of the month for every one that erreth, and for him that is simple, so shall ye reconcile the house. In the first month, in the fourteenth day of the month, ye shall have the Passover. A feast of seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten. And upon that day shall the prince prepare for himself, and for all the people of the land a bullock for a sin offering. In seven days of the feast he shall prepare a burnt offering to the Lord. Seven bullocks and seven rams without blemish daily, the seven days 
and a kid of the goats daily for a sin offering. He shall prepare a meat offering of an epa for a bullock and an epa for a ram and a hin of oil for an epa. The seventh month and the fifteenth day of the month shall he do the like in the feast of the seven days according to the sin offering, according to the burnt offering, and according to the meat offering, and according to the oil.